True story, I see murder like Corey If ever I feel played to the left My folks gon' be like, shit he just stayed to himself He loved making music and he always say what he felt Go in my house, they gon' be like, damn, 2K's what he kept What the fuck he need this uh, for? Oh no shit, people, welcome back to the Grow Podcast I am your co-host, I mean your host or co-host, it don't matter El Colombiano, aka right. Art of Lunatic You already know what it is, I'm over here with my co-host King Cole, Dirt Dig, you know what it be, man. Welcome back, people. We made it to a new year. If you survived 2022, you lucky. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you'll make it through 2003. That's the third round of what the 220s in. You know what I mean? So, hey, yeah. fingers crossed, man, that we live through this one. You know what I mean? Because it's been crazy, crazy since 220. You know what I mean? So, yeah. every yeah, year, it's been the, it ended kind of rough. It was a little bit rough. Bro, there's a lot of deaths. We're still strong. Yeah, we, <laughs> we still strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, like, we lost a lot of people, though. I mean, as soon as 223 hit, we lost Gangsta Boo, bro. It's like, fuck, bro. Yeah. That was crazy. That, that was, was crazy. out the blue. Out the blue, yeah. yeah. But, R.P. Memphis Legend Gangsta Boo, man. Yeah, man. Six, the man. original, one of the original members of Triple Six yeah, Mafia, man. The original 3 Six member, man. But, no. Man, you know, you remember they had beef with Bone and shit back in the day. I don't know if you remember that shit back in the underground days. Yeah. Um, yeah. That shit came back up during the little versus shit. Busy yeah, threw she, a fucking that's what I'm Bottle at Juicy J and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Busy Bone threw a water bottle people at uh, Juicy J when they were doing the versus thing. And then I remember Gangsta Boo was like, Busy Bone, you're a weird ass mother. <laughs> <laughs> he started snapping. Uh, yeah, she started snapping on his uh, Yeah, she was yeah. snapped out. That shit was funny as fuck, though, man. I was like, man, yeah. busy ass crazy, bro. <laughs> but he used to, uh, I remember he had a line back in that uh, that war album or whatever. He was like, uh, Triple Six Mafia Rivals or some shit. But he didn't really diss him that hard, though, you know what I mean? But I don't know if you remember, remember the homie Jeff Cecil. He was a big fan of it. He's the one that told me about that shit. Because back Cecil. then, they were underground. Triple Six Mafia yeah. was underground. He was like, yeah, man, they beefing with Bone Thugs. Because uh, I guess they sound like him. I was like, man, they don't sound nothing like Bone Thugs. <laughs> they ain't even yeah, harmonizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what yeah, the fuck yeah, is you talking yeah. about? <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's I like, mean, yeah, I never, got, I never even connected to B because I was a fan of both, but I yeah, was exactly. Like, yeah, they, they didn't sound the same or nothing. Like, nah, uh, what the heck could they be? I think it was Busy know? Bones who started that shit, bro. Cause that's crazy. He's, he, I guess he yeah, figured they were biting his style or something. I think yeah, the only thing that they connected on that was similar was they were kind of like remember when they first started they had that occult shit going on like Mr. Ouija you know, yeah, that they had shit. Coach, yeah. yeah so like that, that's always how they would be on on. Uh, I think yeah, that's the only I'm thing not, really that connected with 36 first so I can I know Bone probably was more mainstream yeah like Bone was this, mainstream back then know. cause Triple Six Mafia didn't really start like, hitting until like, like late 90s Oh, yeah, I'm like, man, the nigga's hot, man. 3-6, man. <laughs> yeah, Memphis. Shout out to Memphis, man. You know what I mean? Project Pat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hypnotized Minds. Yeah. I remember I had that album, uh, yeah. The World is What? The World's About to End, or what it was. The last, the crazy, we in the crazy days, the end days, or some shit like that. It was one of their albums yeah, from 98. Yeah, so many. Oh, Crazy albums, in the Last man. Days. That was it. Remember, because they had BG yeah, on the video the on the way. I don't know if you remember that video. That man, video was hard, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. Man, I, I did not remember that. Wow, damn. I have to uh, look it up and do a quick share screen on here, dog. I, I can't believe you forgot that shit. Yeah. That shit was I hard, bro. That, that's what made me buy the that. album was that video, because the video was so sick. It had BG, you know what I mean, with uh, Triple Six Mafia, Lil Wayne and shit on there. Uh, but yeah, it's from that album. That's crazy my thing the about game. that era of the South, though, man. We was pretty much unified, man. Yeah, bro, also, yeah. All the seven. That's why South was super unified. Oh, oh, my bad. It was uh the Ted the Club up thug that was on that shit. I don't know. You, you remember that? Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I definitely oh, Ted the Club. Up thug. Yeah, classic. Hold on, let me see because I think I think hey, on here you could uh. Yeah, it's a whole album, man. Um, let me see something. Let me bring this shit up real quick. There it is. Can you hear it? No, I can't hear it. Okay. I kind of yeah. remember some other video. Damn, the video quality, this shit is fucking horrible. 
That shit. <laughs> two forty p and shit. Goddamn. Wow. Right, hey. <laughs> that quality was hard. Goddamn. Hey. It came a long way with videos, bro. Bro, but this, <laughs> nah, this shit not. This shit is pixelated as fuck. It was better though. Like when, if you see it in HD, bro, I just can't. I don't see what HD version is there, bro. But. That video was so hard, bro. It reminded right. me, you know what I'm saying, all those original Hot Boy videos, you know what I mean, when they used to do that shit in the world and shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Play it while you hate me. <laughs> Play it while you hate me. That shit was three yeah. season, uh, cash running. Play it while you hate me. Play it while you hate me. <laughs> See, that was that, that was that Memphis sound right there, man, like that chant shit. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, would, yeah, I mean, yeah, I would always yeah, argue that yeah. crunk started really in Memphis. Even New man. Orleans, they do a lot of they do a lot of chant too. Yeah, yeah, they do. And then that little, yeah, they they, they had more dancing to the Memphis thing, but yeah, I, I, I would say crunk was a more Memphis thing than an yeah. Atlanta thing. Lil Wayne, I mean, Lil John uh, just made popularized uh, it real hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, I say I always felt like Memphis was crunk. First, yeah, and they don't shit don't get Memphis. Man. They don't get mentioned a lot. Like geez, I think Memphis was caught before Atlanta. Man. Yeah, I think so too. At least that's how Steve I remember it, man. Think running, shit, but damn, I'm out. Been the first thing, <laughs> ain't again stomped out. Like I say, they both. Like I say, they made tear the club up. Tear the club up. The party man. music. I mean, bro. you had like, people yeah. from New York even like riding with that tear the club up shit. They were referencing yeah, that shit in like, songs and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, like, shout that shit was out popular, to, uh, man. Fight Club, like say three six, y'all. Yeah, fight inspired club. Fight Club. Inspired, yeah, they inspired <laughs> Fight Club and uh get your mug off me by Richard Getty yeah, and uh, we're featured on there. Yeah, we baby. Damn yeah, you. Those ter- those uh get crunk anthems, man. Those Oh, wild and day. Hey, I, I was telling a coworker yeah. about this shit. I was like, bro, when the songs were so hard, like remember DJs wouldn't play certain songs because they knew the crowd would just yeah. be too crazy. Cause like the homie I was talking to, he's Mexican. To DJ Sergeant Wright, he still Sorry. does that. <laughs> like, he still, he's like, he starts yeah. song, then in and on it, it's about to be a frenzy. He stop it right before he start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And he was yeah, still fucking you know, with it though, bro. Know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, cool. you know, Sars, man. Sars, he's been around. He's been part of this eye scene forever. Yeah, he's so, man, his, his blessing, his word means a lot, man. Yeah, and he yeah, always dropped it down. Yeah. So, shout out. Definitely shout out to DJ Sarge Rock. Work shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, man, but one thing about crunk music and that kind of style, it's kind of like, you know, how white, white rockers, heavy metal, what they got, that mosh pits or whatever. That's yeah, how it was yeah. for us in the club when those songs yeah. were on. That's what I was explaining to a Mexican homie because he's into yeah, that shit. Yeah, three six, yeah, three six more. They had like the mosh type shit yeah. going on with their music. The niggas yeah. be in there throwing bows and throwing shit. Bowls. <laughs> yeah. Throwing bows. We over there with our arms crossed. Like waiting for some other guy suit and just still on him, whatever you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like man. I tell you, we was wild in the club back then, man. People just don't know, man. But and it was the whole thing. It was theme music for that type of activity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was like a soundtrack <laughs> to that shit. It was soundtrack to that yeah, lifestyle, so man. It's crazy, shit, man. Pastor Troy, all the Pastor Troy, all the early, all the early crunk people, man. Yeah, I was. Uh, I mean, I think I originally I was kind of like I didn't get into it at first just because I was kind of like it was new to me, you know what I mean? So it, it took me a minute to get into it, but once I did, I started seeing what people liked about it. It was the energy of the music. You know, energy, and those yeah, beats yeah. and shit, and then the chant. It was just like you had to experience that shit in the club and shit in that kind of scenario. Yeah, right. I really know what you know. What I mean, that kind of shit's about. But it was dope, man. It was like yeah. I, we had a lot of fun, yeah. man. I got bottles thrown at me one time in a complex, but I don't know who threw it, bro. <laughs> Motherfucker threw a bottle of Heineken at me, and I seen that shit bust by me. And I looked in the crowd, and like, no fuck through that shit. Yeah. Nobody owned up though. You know what I mean? I was, I, I was heated, bro. I was mad as fuck. It was, and that was at the conference. Yeah, that's, that's so, <laughs> like fucking a bottle whizzing at your head is the yeah. most dangerous shit exactly. ever. Exactly, that shit would have hit me. I would have, I would have to go to the hospital. Probably, you know what I mean? Like it would have been right, fucked up. Probably would have been fucking fucked up. Looking like, like two faces, bitch. Time. I would have had to be on all this bitch like with a yeah. mask on and yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> they be uh, 
the well, I like say that Phantom of the Opera fucking <laughs> rapper shit. That would be my gimmick. Phantom of the Opera man. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, why you always wearing that mask and shit? You looking like MF Doom oh, and shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, MF Doom and this shit. That's funny you mentioned it, because I actually did wear a cheap-ass mask like that one time to a, a Halloween party. I, th- I talked about it on the Dark Dimension podcast. I got some pictures of oh, shit. Oh, yeah, funny. I remember you talking about this, the beef with Vendetta one. Yeah, no, not that one. I have one that was really cheap. All it was was it just it was just uh, my eye. It just covered my eye and shit. It was that Phantom of the Opera <laughs> shit. That shit was like five dollars. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was a cheap joint. Yeah, well, I went to that. It's the Phantom of the Opera. If it's white and it covers your half of his face, it's Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man that, I mean, that's the cheapest yeah, costume yeah. you could wear man cause all you gotta do is put on like a, a suit or something and then put on a fucking quick ass mask yeah. and shit you know what I mean uh, uh, fuck it. one of those cheap ass capes hey, <laughs> <laughs> go your ass to uh, CVC go to Walgreens right <laughs> age costume quick shit <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey I've done damn sure done it man damn sure done that shit on Halloween parties TV. But yeah, man, <laughs> wildin', man. But yeah, man, the crunk scene was definitely, uh, she was definitely a pioneer in that original Memphis sound. So RP the gangster dude, man, like that shit crazy. We, lost, we definitely lost the one of the letters, man. But yeah, like I don't know, bro. Like there's so many deaths, bro. Like I had to make a list, of people. Now I gotta look at it because it was so many. I couldn't keep up with them, bro. Like it was so many more. Like, it's crazy. Oh, Boogie B. Some of the entertainers. Yeah, there's a lot of entertainers. Uh, notable people. Yeah, you know Boogie, what I'm man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Boogie B, it made me a little sad because I, I really rock with Boogie because I used to get my, you know, we from Biloxi, so, yeah. you know, get the little New Orleans news from, you know, from somebody from the city, you know, because yeah. it's always fake New Orleans, like, oh, I've been in New Orleans, I know about it, but there ain't too many people from New from Orleans, Orleans just yeah. dropping yeah. We're not from New Orleans, New Orleans. we used to just go there, yeah. man, man. we're from Blux, just, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Know. But, yeah, so uh, that shit was crazy when I heard about the Boogie B, because I thought, because how he was represented, I thought he was still in New Orleans, like, I was like, Cali, still yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, living it up, you know, once you monetize, man, you can get about that situation because New Orleans is a fucking murder happy right now. Again? It's, I remember it was, it was the murder capital when we were young, so yeah, we were like teenagers. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it's back. Yeah, it's back to the murder happy again. It's going crazy cause, and the way he got shot or where like, he was shot, just a straight bullet sitting on the, in the parking lot. Yeah, he just caught a straight store. bullet. So that's so that was definitely that's what's even crazy about it. Like you, you know, it basically yeah. is an innocent bystander back basically. at home. You know, yeah. And that's that's what's crazy. A lot of people say you don't, you know, you once you get famous, don't go back home. I don't like to hear that shit. But it's it's starting to look true. I mean, well, it just depends, like, I guess, damn, on what man. part of your neighborhood you'll be. I mean, he just feels like he's a casualty of war, pretty much, man. Casualty of street beef, I guess. I don't know. Basically, yeah. But, you know, it's a sad thing. Well, like, basically, yeah. it was, you it's know, just, it's coming up. Know, and I, I, know I didn't know about not him, doing anything mm. But, yeah, yeah. He, he was cool, yeah, though, because yeah, he, he laid down the history of the war, like, so... Yeah, he definitely was educating people yeah, on the war. He was and just doing the street history. He was just... Yeah, and he was good. He was he yeah. had good stand up too. I was watching him uh, start doing the stand up thing. So he, oh, definitely yeah, he did stand up too. Damn. New, uh, New Orleans. Yeah, he just started doing the stand up. You know, a lot of the uh, you know internet comments. They, you know, they got to prove to the older guys yeah. that they can do stand up and get all that haze and crap. Man, I don't like that. Stand up ain't no joke though. That you gotta have some, you gotta be brave to do stand up. Yeah. Like that ain't something yeah, you got to be able to yeah. willing to take those like, moves, be man. Funny. Yeah. Right, you're, you're, like, gotta, you're gonna get you know, stand in front of the audience, captivating the audience for ten of however many minutes. That's hard to do. I've, I've been a few uh, improv standups, man. It's pretty cool. I seen your boy there one time. Uh, what's his name? Ash Leary. <laughs> he was right there. 
Right. Oh no, I actually learned that, bro. He's funny as shit. Though. That dude was funny. Yeah, he's always fun, funny, man. man. Donnell, Donnell, Donnell Rollins, yeah, yeah. my yeah. boy. I, I seen him that, live one time. Donnell Donnell was funny he's funny as great stand up. Yeah, man. Yeah, Shout like out said, to Dave stand up is hard to do because a lot of it's hard to freaking do. Donnell, he's one of those guys that he do good stand up. Yeah, so yeah. Donnell Rollins, aka Ashy Larry. <laughs> yeah, but he embraced that name too because he was on stand when he was doing the stand up. He he mentioned it. He's like a lot of y'all know me as Ashley Larry. I'm Ashley. You know what I mean? Like he he actually owned up to it. And I think that was cool, man. Yeah, yeah. cool dude, you know cool brother, man. I'm rich, bitch. You know what I'm saying? He was doing the same that shit, yo. For the small stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm rich, bitch. Yeah, that's Donnell Rollins. He uh, even yeah. made season then, three like, of Chappelle's Show. Short antidotes, man. He's super funny. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the season three with him and Charlie, uh, R.P. Charlie, man, they posted it. So, Charlie uh, Murphy. When the, day, when the day disappearance happened. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit, man. When we went to Africa. Wild time, man. But the Chappelle show, that was a that was ahead Africa. of his time kind went of show. Went to Africa man. to smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> Rumors. Yeah. Man, people were talking mad shit back then. Did you see the shit when Snoop said, uh... Remember Snoop had the uh, sketch comedy show before, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember, remember that shit. That shit was funny. He said, yeah, yeah. See, that Snoop came out like, bro, like a year later, Chappelle show came out after that shit, after they canceled. Damn. Like, oh, no. The MTV ass shit. Damn. Yeah, he was on MTV, man. Politics. Yeah, that sucks, Yeah, man. those politics. He had two shows on MTV. He had that yeah, one, yeah. and then he had Dog After Dark. That was later on. That was like 2010. Yeah, it was like, yeah, he said dog, mm-hmm. yeah, dog got the dark came later. Yeah. But yeah, yeah shout out to Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop. He, did. he was one of the first one to do the, the sketch comedy. So I out to be Snoop Dogg. I want to be like Snoop Dogg when I grow up. Snoop's a, he's a good businessman, bro. Like yeah. in terms of like, you know, he knows, like he's being a mogul now instead of just a rapper, bro. And I think that's cool as shit. Yeah, bro. man. Although a lot of people aren't uh, too happy yeah, with what he's doing with the Death Row catalog, because I guess he pulled it out of YouTube and all the other ones. So I guess I don't know how you can right. even get those albums right now. I don't know. If, I don't know how, how uh, that whole thing. I, uh, I think it's a smart thing to do, like say, because they really weren't using it, so now yeah. that it's pulled, I can use it. Now he got you his know, masters. They met the deal those, behind it. Just have it. Yeah, he got his masters yeah. back. Yeah, and he got his probably did masters. Like, that's crazy, but that's good though. At least he got it. Yeah, so you shit, know, man. he definitely, yeah, he definitely needed the shit back. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. deserved that shit back. Yeah, that's what we grinding, man. But yeah, man, we lost. Remember, you do you remember Life with Louis? That cartoon from the '90s, early mid '90s, Life with uh, Louis yeah, Anderson. Yeah, Louis Anderson, man. Yeah, he was, uh, that was my shit. He was, yeah, he yeah, was my guy, Louis man. Anderson, man. He, he died last year too, bro. Yeah, R.P. Louis. Yeah, yeah, that was crazy when I seen the uh the tribute, man. I was like, damn, Louis had uh Louis Anderson gone. The life of Louis cartoon was shit. I know, I used to watch that shit, bro. Yeah, I used that, to love that was that a good cartoon. show, man. Um yeah, uh, people, you Gilbert can see it right Godfrey, here. I am like, damn. Gilbert Godfrey was died too. Like, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, Gilbert Godfrey died. Life with Louis though, um, that shit was funny. Yeah, but you know what's funny? Louis I thought he had died man. already for some reason. It was like, what well, was Mandela? Look at that shit. Dog. This, yeah. dude, this art you know inspired me back in the day, dude. Like, I used to draw shit like that. Yeah. Now, that was a good cartoon show, yeah. man. They need like to bring real. that back. Yeah. Like, yeah, it wasn't it was like a, a colorful cartoon. cartoon. It was like, they they just kept it real, man. Yeah. Loser type shit. Life with Louie was a good, yeah, Life with Louie was a good ass show. So I saw yeah. Louie on, uh, Louis Anderson, man. He was on Coming to America, people, with Eddie Murphy, by the way. He was, uh, you yeah, know, where he worked at that yeah, fake yeah, ass yeah, McDonald's, yeah. remember that shit? Hey, Wack Donald's, yeah, the Wack Donald's. He worked at Wack Donald's with Eddie, you know, that shit was crazy. He was yeah, scared yeah. as shit when Samuel came in and robbed him. <laughs> like, oh, shit. That shit was so funny. That shit was hilarious. I the movie, man. Hey, remember, he was trying to be a company man. Like, he was trying to move up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like flipping burgers and shit. <laughs> that was the only white dude Shout in that movie, movie, man. Remember that? Like, he that was, was the, the only, only white, white dude in the entire movie. Yeah, that's crazy. Luffy Anderson, bro. That's crazy. 
Well, hey, that's why they say coming to America was really like the first Black Panther in terms of like just having an all black cast like that, man. And you know, oh, what I mean? God, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, another movie I haven't seen though, I do want to talk about, it, but I need to watch it first, and that's that uh Harlem Nights. They had um Eddie Murphy and oh, damn near all the greats were in bro. it, man. Bro. And I, I've seen clips bro, of it, watch but I need it. to watch it, man. Yeah, watch the movies. It's, it's, Charlie it's, Murphy, very, very entertaining. It's a good, it's a great movie. And it's, it's based on, you know, those it's gangsters from uh, Ma- uh, Harlem back in the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. The real I Bucky Johnson, the those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, the 40s, 30s, 40s, yeah. 40s. That was probably you know, like... The zoot suit type shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, uh, suicide Doors and the Thomason submachine gun. <laughs> Thompson. Tommy gun. Yeah, yeah them big ass Tommy's. Bro, them, them shits was crazy, bro. See, like y'all young cats with the drums, them drums been out, baby. I know, right? Y'all, like y'all ain't, y'all ain't just bring those out because y'all got the lit clear ones and stuff. <laughs> they always had the little black ones ready to go, man. Uh, That's Al back in those Al Capone Chicago baby. era. They had them, bro. Them Thompsons. Those yeah, were those man. are those are some crazy yeah. weapons too, man. Like those would fucking shred your ass up. They're like AKs, pretty much. Especially at that man. at that time, at, yeah. at that time, that was the craziest weapon ever. Yeah. So the, the father of the chopper right now, the all you submachine gun guy, Thomason <laughs> submachine gun baby. Yeah, Thompson's were crazy, bro. You get, you could put two drums on there. That was a yeah. hundred. She was insane. Hundred bucks, baby. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going, you ain't that's going hunting for deer with that shit, bro. Massacre. <laughs> hey, that's yeah, some shit you bring if you trying to kill the predator nonsense. in this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, that's not that's not no game, no, no sport type yeah, of right. Nah, no sport. That shit's clearly for war, dog. Like that's clearly for hey, killing. Yeah, it definitely people. ain't gonna be no. There ain't gonna be no trophy left if you shoot the <laughs> animal with that, bro. Hey, you gonna pick it up in pieces? You know, bring that to the taxidermist. Yeah, yeah, um, you might well. <laughs> if it's, if it's leave, you know, leave, leave it there. Yeah, man. There ain't nothing to gather. Oh shit, man! You know, yeah, Louis, man. Louis Da Coolio though, bro. That one that one hit me hard, bro. Oh yeah, Coolio. Thanks yeah, Paradise. Coolio. It, was, and... it was some crazy. It was crazy because he just exposed some like stuff. Oh damn. About the industry then boom, I didn't even know that. Ass. They yeah. were like, he like he was saying like certain things he was trying to do, the industry stopped him from doing and you know, it's certain ways they can make you do stuff without really Doing shit directly to you. It's the type of compensation it was on. Damn, damn. like shit. I right? didn't like a week later he passed. I'm like, God dang, man. Like, that don't look right. That don't. Look but Coolio, he had his all this stuff in order, man. He, you know, he didn't leave a lot of dead. He really didn't have a bad name when he passed. Yeah, and then Gangster Paradise is Gangster's fucking paradise. Right? Gangster Paradise yeah. is his best, I guess, his best, most popular song. Even though he had bangers before, and it was more party kind of songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, he followed it up with what yeah, I'll see you when you get there. Tracks. Yeah, but he yeah, was cool. Back when I get man. there was another hard one. I'll see you. Oh, one, get two, there. three, four. Boy, get, get your, get your lead lead on, on the, the floor. floor. Gotta, gotta get up and get, get down. down. <laughs> yeah. I remember that he like to say he had like Coolio, he was he was very versatile. Yeah, bro. So I like, say Gangster Paradise and then see when I get there was super serious songs. It, it wasn't like he was you whack either, bro. Like he could spit. Man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, Coolio was up. Then he was big. He was big C. So I saw them C's. Yeah, I think he, he was there. originally, but he stopped Coolio. banging at one C's. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I watched a little thing when he wanted to do, you know, you know, like every other old school dinosaur game banger like myself. He want to change that shit. We want to do better. You know. I remember. Yeah, he, he said cool in the interview he got point, but it's not cool no more. He seen a dude, a gangbanger from his set, I guess, shoot a dog or something like that. And that that is what the motivating factor for him to stop, you know, that lifestyle, I guess. I remember uh, seeing that shit in the interview way back in like ninety eight, you know, ninth grade era, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. yeah. So I remember I told James always on the positive. Yeah, he was a positive. for the he's most part, yeah, he was a positive, positive rapper, man. 
He definitely, uh, yeah. he definitely got a lot of people yeah. into hip hop too back then, man. <laughs> Remember yeah. the video oh, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was on there with uh, with LV. They had LV looking <laughs> like he was sweating his ass off singing his shit. And then uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was in the video, which was crazy and shit. I'm like, damn, they got Michelle right. Pfeiffer in a rap video and shit. The movie itself, yeah, though, Dangerous know, Minds, was not all that great. Remember Dangerous Minds? Yeah, Dangerous Minds was like, uh, you know, they was stuck on the, the school reform. Yeah, the substitute and all school. those kind of movies. Like they, yeah, the substitute, all those type of crappy 187, ass although 187 was good, that. though. I did like 187 with Samuel L. Jackson and the Cholos and yeah, shit. That one was awesome. cool. Yeah. I didn't like Dangerous yeah, Minds. I just thought it was it was soft, soft, man. I didn't like it. I don't know. It, be, it was soft. Yeah, I thought it was going to be harder than that, but it wasn't. Like all those school, like. Yeah. Remember Denzel Washington made one like that, too? Yeah, I yeah. like, I like, why did y'all sit on this high school kick, shit? Like, uh, <laughs> get over it. It's over. Uh -huh. It's some different type of movies. Yeah, dangerous like, Minds, though, was like. With the superhero. Yeah, man. It was like, and she was like the white savior role, <laughs> you know what I mean? Coming to the yeah, hood to help us and same, all that kind of shit. Yeah, Michelle Piper, <laughs> tough white lady, savior. <laughs> like ex marine or something. I think. Yeah, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck is this crap, man? <laughs> Soundtrack was great though. No, yeah, yeah. Soundtrack I like the rapping forte. Remember when he was on? He was on that shit, man. A lot of. Uh, you lot know, of soundtracks were good back, back then. then. Yeah, they they, they got go promoted. Soundtrack. Bro. Yeah, soundtracks was decent, man. I used to buy soundtracks, fool. Like that was like the shit back then. Yeah. Was like, oh, like, yeah, bro, music was inspired by the motion picture. <laughs> yes. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, shit. Inspired by the official yeah, motion yeah. picture. It was some good sounds. Yeah, it was, good man. soundtracks though. Like they 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 picked some good uh, fucking artists to be on those soundtracks. Yeah, they didn't fuck around. Like, that, I guess they were more invested in that kind of shit back then. Like, yeah. We barely yeah, get that shit, shit nowadays. Right. That shit's yeah, rare. Like face. Well, I think the the new then uh Black Panther I think had a song. Um, I think Rihanna or something like saying. And it was like a sad oh, ass know, song for Black Panther the, two. Yeah, I haven't watched the new Black Panther. Okay, yeah, I think that that they released some kind of song that was a uh, link to that movie, but I think that's the only one I can think of right now. Yeah, I, I like certain movies like that. They try to do the soundtrack thing, try to make it as good as the movie. Yeah. But certain movies, even Ninja Turtles, like the uh, new ones, black. Yeah, yeah they had Wiz like Khalifa that. doing some shit on there. Yeah, I mean, they but should you know, they should bring that shit back. Based though. on the fans, too. yeah, they, they definitely need to focus more on the soundtracks and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man. Sydney Porter died. I mean, Sydney Portier. Is that how you pronounce it? Portier. Yeah, Portier. Yeah. Legend. Legendary you know, actor. I, you know I mean, black I know, actor. yeah, I know he's legendary, but you know, it's even before our time. Oh, it was way know, before our time, was, you know what I mean? But, you know, respect is respect. He broke that color barrier, you know, respect because he broke that color barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, he was, he, I actually watched some of his older stuff and see what it was about. Cause he, I like okay, is it just a pretty face or was it? He was that brother was acting and he was an activist. Yeah, he's a serious dude. You know, dude. he did some things. He was yeah. a serious dude, well, very educated, real. Yeah, real I was familiar with his face and like his name and thing, but I didn't yeah, know the whole know history. All the other know. black actors, you know, they held him to a certain standard, and then just based on my research, I was looking at him like, yeah, you know, he's well deserving. Yeah, definitely, bro. You got to give props for props to do, man. You know what I mean, respect the uh, ones that came before us. You know what I mean. So, and uh, did you ever watch uh, Murder She Wrote back in the day? Remember that? Oh yeah, man, <laughs> Angela Lansbury, man. man. She no. died too, man. I was like, damn, that was my shit. <laughs> that white lady was cool though, she man. She used, to, she used to always man, catch my cool, and shit. Man. She wasn't even a cop. <laughs> That's what's funny. Yeah, this is a nose ass white lady. <laughs> Bro, <Bruh, laughs> she can do everything. <laughs> Angela Lansbury. I, that was crazy when I found out, like, damn, yeah. Angela Lansbury's gone. She's and gone I, that I, typewriter. I she wrote a lot of, 
Yeah, I'm doing a typewriter. <laughs> I still used to watch. I used to watch that shit with, with Grams all the yeah, time, man. man. I used to watch it with my mom. Uh, like, the day, yeah, kind of, I was like, okay, before the good shows come off, Murder She Road about to go off and all uh, this. <laughs> yeah, hey, Angela was solving some crimes, bro. <laughs> she was, uh, she was cleaning up those streets, baby. <laughs> she, she had the streets on lock. Like, yeah, yeah. we didn't even need cops. I, did, I don't even think y'all even seen the cops in the freaking show ever. Nah, I've never man. seen a cop pull up and even arrest anybody. <laughs> <laughs> she was just solving those mysteries, dog. She just was like the original them, YouTuber bro. that was into mysteries, you know what I mean? Except she was she had her hands in that shit, though. She was hands on. She's you know? gotta be part of Mysteries Inc. <laughs> <laughs> part of the Scooby Doo crew and shit. For real, though. Seriously, dog. She was cool, man. I like yes, I like that actor. She's just she a, a sloop. <laughs> they call her Snoopy sloop. neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoopy. She's the Snoopy neighbor. <laughs> Yeah, she's the one open the curtains up and shit and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> always peeking through the blinds and shit. Yeah, Super man. Super smooth. <laughs> Angela Lansbury. Yeah, R.I.P. Angela, man. man. She was a cool lady, man. Yeah, bro. Our murder she wrote, bro. That was some good stuff. Man. And you know, a lot of people have referenced that shit in their raps and shit too. You know what I mean? Oh, I, she bro, wrote. I reference it. I am trying to reference it as much as I can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man, too many, man. too many. I, I, I referenced reference it recently, man. Of fact, some new stuff. It's my she wrote, right? Yeah, fool. Also, man, uh, the Green Ranger died. The dude, dude, I guess he, I think he committed suicide. Yeah, uh, they, which, uh, David that was crazy. Jason Frank, man. Yeah, um, man. real MMA the dude. Green shit. Ranger. Yeah, real green, and then he was really the Green Ranger. Though he never, yeah. like, he ain't, he ain't just get too big for the character. Even right. though he was bigger than the Green Ranger, like he done other shit, but yeah. Green Ranger, White Ranger, and then White Ranger, Tiger. That shit was kind of like a live action White Voltron Ranger. and shit. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the Power Ranger. It was live action Voltron for sure. Yeah, I, although I, I admittedly, Voltron, I wasn't that into it. Man. Yeah, a lot of people were into it, man. I just I didn't yeah. get that into it, but it was cool. Now the though, first man. Power Rangers with Tommy and them in it, Tommy, like yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't, yeah, I ain't watched the rest of the, all the other different yeah, versions. Yeah. Of Power I was I was like, in the early ninety three. Mighty Morphin yeah. Power Rangers. Mighty, Mighty Morphin Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, yeah, I watched that. That was yeah. my when they started that shit. Yeah. With uh, Rita, Rita Repulsa and shit. Yeah, Rita Repulsa yeah, and that red dog. dude. Remember that shit with the brains uh, and shit? Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and, and for Z. Now I say, yeah, once they got the Z, like after Z, I stopped watching. <laughs> they doing, doing all Ninja Force and shit. Yeah. Like, come on, man. That shit was cheesy as fuck, though. That's I was one of the cheesy shit. Tommy, man. man. Yeah, man. I want to say his name. Uh, I want to say David Jason Frank. I forgot. Yeah, uh, like, the Green like Ranger. Yeah, shout out to Green Didn't Ranger. Didn't he become the White Ranger at one point? Yeah, he was the White Ranger after that. Oh, know, yeah, yeah. He became White Ranger. Tommy yeah. Oliver. It was his fictional name. Yeah, that was. Yeah, his name was Tommy Oliver on the show. Yeah, that's how. <laughs> that's how I remember because they would always call him Tommy. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, R. I. P. Yeah, Tommy. Man. You know, Doctor Doctor Red Ranger was gonna get with the Pink Ranger, then Tommy came in and swooped her up real quick. Pink Ranger was all on. Pink Tommy Ranger beat. was fine as fuck though, man. man that lady, yeah, man. I'm fine. I liked the Yellow Ranger, man. I oh mean, yeah, yeah, the Asian I, shit too. Don't, all the Asian people don't say I fetishize y'all <laughs> stuff. Don't do that. Cause I see that a lot on the internet with the yeah. black guys fetishizing Asian women. But wait, the white dudes are always the ones that date them, though. What the fuck you mean, though? You know, what right? Mean? That's I always see. That's like the most stereotypical thing. Or, or white dude with an Asian girl. That's like that always. You always see that shit. Right. Yeah. But you know they. Oh, you know they tell them to date, date, date up. Get them a nice <laughs> white guy. <laughs> Sorry, Asian people tell out your secrets. Yeah, yeah. But we love the reality of America. It's not a fetish. I just Don't actually like y'all. The merch. Uh, shots out to training on the Yellow Ranger. I he had a she had a horrible backstory. Like after she ended up dying, it's a little crap. Like she like 
Oh, damn. Oh, oh yeah, she died shit. young, dude. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. She like, yeah, she did. Like, car, crazy car accident, man. It was crazy. RP Yellow Ranger, yeah. too, man. Miss Trini. Yeah, I think, isn't the uh, Black yeah, Ranger, yeah. like, I think he's been at some, uh, at some cons and shit. And uh, the other yeah, chicks, too. Yeah, yeah. Maybe one of those Zach. cons. <laughs> damn, I tell you, I tell you, who's that did treat me out though. Y'all used to make him break dance and shit. Like, why you gotta <laughs> yeah. dance with this fucking mood, you know? I like, man, who y'all posing for? Like, the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the superhero shit. pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, but it's showing up. They pose more than Ninja Turtles did and shit, dog. Like, goddamn. You know, like, man, they got the. You about to get your ass kicked, man. We doing all them poses and shit. <laughs> I tell you, whose death was a uh, gloomy though. I'm not gloomy. What's the word for that shit? It's like morbid. Um, I remember that. Remember that one kid? He was like a uh, singer, Aaron Carter. I think. Yeah. He was like oh, a, man. Uh, one of them boy crazy. band dude type dudes. Yeah, he his was, death was fucked know. up though. Cause they found him in the tub. Yeah, and he was already dead and like, you know, decomposed. I'm like, ugh, that's a horrible way to find him. Uh, crazy, yeah. I guess he OD'd or something, bro. And then it, it was out of the blue, too. Like, dang, I was expecting him to be the past like that. Yeah, that was like the Justin Bieber <laughs> before Justin Bieber, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he was, one of those he was kids Justin and, Bieber first. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, was Justin Bieber first. Yeah. Like I say, like I say, I can't. I can't even remember one of his songs, like uh, no, Beat Shack or that. something. I'm a Beat Shack. Oh, shit. But he was like a yeah. bunch of kitty songs. Yeah, it was you know kitty know songs. That? Yeah, he was like that demographic yeah, and shit. Like, they didn't want to, I think his brother like a Backstreet Boy or some shit. Yeah, that's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, he was linked to one of those band. boy band groups and shit, like NSYNC nah, or Backstreet either, Boys. Either, either, either NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. He's one of those brothers yeah. I, that's that's the only reason i really remember him is because i remember he was no disrespect to the, the carter family i don't yeah. i just don't remember which band yeah his brother is in because i mean you got to think about that at that time we were we was, already teenagers. we was already we weren't listening to shit like yeah. that you know? we, yeah we, we were past that i say yeah. man, boy boy band shit in our day was new kids on new, the block i was about to say yeah. 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 New kids on the block. Marky, that's Marky that's so early nineties. <laughs> <laughs> it's early nineties. Mark and the Funky Bunch. Marky Mark. Nah, people. Some people don't remember that shit, man. Mark Wahlberg used to be a fucking yeah, rapper. Mark Wahlberg. He, Marky he, Mark. He, he wants you to. Yeah, he wants you to not remember that. Yeah, Do not yeah. call him Marky Mark. He, Back when Mark Wahlberg was Marky Mark, this is how we used to make the party yeah. start. Remember, remember, remember. Where's the fucking Funky Bunch? There's Where's the old... Funky Bunch, Mark? You remember the MTV countdown shit? There was one time that Eminem and Marky Mark was on there. You could tell Mark Wahlberg wanted to like steal on Eminem or something. Like he was just like, right. like salt. He was like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, damn. Eminem looked like he was high or something. He was just acting stupid as fuck, bro. I was like, he, he looked like he was just irritating the shit out of uh, Marky Mark, man. Mark Wahlberg, yeah. Detroit dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not too big of a fan. Uh, of him. He's or his he's, 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 he's a he's a Boston boy. Oh, he's Boston. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True that. True that. He's one of the yeah, Boston boys. He was in. He was in one of Boston. Uh, movies, the Departed. With a uh, Jack. He's Nicholson. pretty. He's pretty racist too, man. Yeah, that shit came out, man. Like he was. He was being racist what, to some Asians. Yeah, he, he Asian, had like a, kids. I'm yeah, sure, he, uh, yeah, yeah. He did. He's, he admitted to uh, threatening yeah, some black hate kids, crime. He it was like he committed a hate crime, dog. Yeah, yeah, he got a hate crime for uh, attacking some Vietnamese, older Vietnamese people, harassing yeah. them. He seemed like an asshole. Though. I ain't never really liked this him that much, man. Yeah, even uh, with the Tyree shit, Tyree was like, yeah, he's fucking baby. Oh, shit, wow. They got yeah. into it over there, shit. I didn't even know but that Tyrese shit. gets into it with everybody. <laughs> that crying like, and shit. Tyrese, you get into it with him. <laughs> Remember when he, uh, what when he... do you want from me? What more do you want from me? <laughs> Old drama, dramatic ass. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you can't be that. Like, a, as a man, you can't be dramatic and devious. Not Even that. He like, he was too devious. He was crying and shit. <laughs> what do you want from me? What more do you want from me? 
Well, yeah, 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 a breakdown and shit, man. We had an actual yeah. breakdown. Remember when he uh, leaked the? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your <yes. laughs> I'm sorry, Tyrese. I apologize so much, but you, that was whack. I know Dr. Dre was you even mad at him that, that one time because he uh he leaked that Dr. Dre was gonna phone. buy the uh, those headphones or whatever the fuck, whatever that business was. He fucking leaked the news too early on Instagram or some shit, and Dr. Dre and them were mad. Like, right. Oh, about to just say they shit. pulled out. Yeah. I was like, wow, that's fucking funny. But man, You're doing it for the clout, man. West Coast singer and shit. I remember yeah, what happened yeah. to TQ, man. Remember TQ? He used to be out here and shit, man. Uh, singing he for the West Coast. The cash money. Oh, shit. Yeah, he signed with Mac 10 <laughs> with Mac 10 and those. Yeah, he went over there. He went over there. He went over there with Mac 10. Yeah. Mac 10 was know. good. TQ, he had to make some money. They only featured him twice. <laughs> now, I think it were Mac 10 songs. The Mac, well, that Mac 10 album was hard, like though. Money song. I like the, the Cash Money album he did. Who cool. <laughs> yeah. When he left the Who Bang records, I guess Ice Cube's record label at the time. And he came out here. But I like the I like his albums on the Who Bang too, though. The Recipe was dope. You know what I'm saying? He had uh, the one with, uh, what's the name? Now, the Crip dude. What's the name? I can't even think of his name right now. Shit, blanking out. The LC? Yeah, not the C though. Dub C, man, not the C though. Dog. It was uh, the dude who used to beef with uh with with uh DJ Quick, wasn't it? Uh, man, I don't know why I'm blanking out. It's old age, man. I'm getting old, dog. Yeah, it's either that or the weed, man. You know what I mean, just be forgetting. There's shit. a lot of stuff to remember. Yeah, true that, true that. Speaking of remembering, man, you remember since we since we on some hip hop shit right now, you know what I mean? Do you remember the old school uh Sprite commercials from like '98? I think it was. And it was like Voltron, but it had Mac Ten, Common, and some other rappers. Oh on it. shit! Mm -hmm. Fucking that was, right, I remember that's a you know that's a classic ass hip hop yeah. ass commercial. If you don't remember, you know, that. Sprite was always been so hip hop is here. Like Sprite yeah. is like the official, unofficial hip hop beverage or some shit. Yep. Yeah. So like it's always been kind of urban. <laughs> yeah, especially back then, they were like all the companies were trying to get into hip hop back then. You know what I mean? So we, all the clothing companies were uh, trying to do that shit. Damn, well, I forgot bro's name, man. He was a, he was a yeah, white. They even dude. animated it. <laughs> man, what's his name? That's the motherfuckers wear those big ass ski goggles. Yeah, oh, they even had the southern rap goggles. Yeah, they gave Ready Mob was in goggles. it. Yeah, Goody uh, Mouth was Joe. a blue lion. Fat Joe. Obey my thirst. Iron. Remember, that was the slogan Obey your thirst. Obey your thirst. Oh. Damn, Joe. That was dramatic as hell. You see how he laid out? Oh, well, common. <laughs> mm -hmm. in Chicago, got them big ass. Blue rags and ski glass. That was the shit they do. Yeah, you know that's hip hop. You got to have the ski goggles and the do rag or the way. I like Max Ten's uh, color outfit and shit. Yeah, yeah. But they get the red. He's talking all that shit. He got his ass killed though. That fast. That sounds like Chris Rock. Like him. Yeah, I think it might be Chris Rock versus that dude. Uh, shit, Bombada. Wow. Wow, this didn't age well because Bambada, you are in, you in that shit was hip hop as fuck, bro. Baby. Yeah, that's that's some shit for nerds in hip hop right here. Using, yeah, Bambada, but he, he made his reputation has been tarnished since. See, this would be some cool shit to do nowadays, man. Yeah, that would be dope. Obey your thirst, motherfucker. And then you know, artists now they are more into this type of you know. This wasn't cool to be doing the anime hip hop mashup. Yeah, that's just no nerdy, nerdy cartoon rap. We you know <laughs> the music yeah. was so tough back then. This nerd shit, fucking lions and. Robots, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, like I, I personally was a fan of Voltron. Your goggles and your, and your wave cap, bro. Your wave leather cap. jacket. 
<laughs> yeah, man, you should do some shit like that. We should maybe we should do some shit like that one day, dog. But like I said, I was always a fan of Voltron more than Transformers. Like Transformers was cool back in the day, but I still like Voltron more. Yeah, yeah, I, mean? like Tra- yeah I like Voltron a bit more than Transformers. Yeah. But um, Transformers was cool. Though. I had a uh, I had your boy, man, Optimus Prime back in the day, man. When I was a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got. I like the Optimus. I liked the Beast Wars thing B- more. Yeah, Beast Wars. That was like ninety six. Beast Wars I movie. I hope they do it right. Well, you know what I, I like about that clip? Optimus Prime looks like Optimus Prime should look in that in that clip. You know, right. he don't look like the Michael Bay version of uh, Optimus Prime. Prime. Yeah, Opti- Optimus Primal. <laughs> Hey, the uh, first descendants of Prime. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you this though, bro. Like, have you ever noticed in the movies how many fucking people Optimus Prime has fucking killed, or the robots? Like that motherfucker don't care, dog. And uh, I gotta get shout out to JB and uh, Cody from the Last Drive because they're the ones that put me up on this shit. But they they started talking about. It. I was like, this motherfucker chopped Megatron's head off and shit. Like he doesn't care, dog. Like he kills so many fucking yeah. people, dog. Like you could make a whole clip of him just killing the fuck out of robots and shit, dog. It's like. Yeah. I'm like, damn. You know, they are outnumbered. There's more, eight more Decepticons than Autobots. Like, Autobots Maybe that's losing true. That. I th- I th- my the theory Decepticons is after he got winning. killed. Remember, Optimus got killed at one point and he got resurrected. Right. I think and, uh, when he got resurrected, he went crazy. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because he came back killing motherfuckers and shit. Like, damn, dog. Just chopping motherfuckers up with that sword and shit. And I was like, damn. And then he is a prime. And like he's like one of the older ones. Yeah, like, first you know, Transformers. Like, Carter. like they, that's why I say they they are way bigger than the other robots and shit. Yeah, they are. like the primes were way huger than the other ones. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't that's seen all those. Movies, Even man. though y'all losing, Autobots are losing their war badly. Wow. Did you watch the like, 80s movie? Seven times are winning. The Transformers. Oh, I didn't watch the eighty one. You didn't? Bro, I didn't watch the eighty one. Oh, yeah. I, I don't remember is if it I watched animated? it. Animated? Yeah, it's animated, bro. I just don't remember if I yeah, watched yeah, it. Yeah, I, I seen yeah, I seen all the okay. animated shit. Yeah, a lot of people say it's like really good, but yeah, I, I, I was like, a big I fan. Oh man, yeah. yeah. Um, back yeah, then though. Big fan. Like I say if you if you're a fan of the heroes winning, you you're not gonna like Transformers because <laughs> they're not winning. Yeah. They outnumbered like a motherfucker. And then I yeah. say it's more and more deceptive on there's newer versions every time if they got the upgrade skills. Right. Well, that shit crazy though. They used to they used to wild out on those shows, bro. I, but I like the I like the Japanese like anime cartoon style of those uh and then Voltron as well, bro. Like those were dope. Okay, yeah, that that and the Gundam. Like I said, they <laughs> yeah, got they kinda got that they got that uh animatronic robot private thing down yeah definitely so we had we had some couple ones i say our closest thing we got is power rangers yeah, yeah. Power, that was like the live action shit yeah which was based on a different uh i forgot the name of it but i vr troopers i think was the name of it because i used to see that yeah, shit in VR Columbia. Trooper. yeah it was like yeah, it was VR like Troopers. they were pretty much like more, my um, power rangers man i remember i remember the actual vr trooper they had the vr trooper show then power yeah. rangers kind of you know was took the like, american version yeah american yeah, that's exactly what happened. Cause when uh, when I moved back to the Remember states, the, uh, Power Rangers, big, big bad beetleborgs. Yeah, beetleborgs. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the about that. Beetleborgs. They had all the they had all those like uh, I guess spinoffs, what you call them. Yeah, they spin definitely had a lot of spinoffs. But that all, you know that that happens with these franchises, like, spinoffs. Yeah, that's all the spinoffs. Then what happened to your light, bro? I can't see it. you. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Lights out. Tripped up a bit of my hand. Turn the lights out. Lights out. What's that way? Shit. Lil Wayne. Lights out. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's a grain, man. Red, yeah, that was a good time. Man. Grains were real. Grains were real. Party time. Excellent. Man, yeah, I need yeah. to watch the new Wayne's World. Did they ever drop that? Oh no! I know oh, this is supposed to be the new Bill and Ted. Remember they? Oh, Bill I didn't. I didn't watch that new Bill and Ted movie, man. Have you? Yeah, so I need it. 
I haven't seen it. I need to check into it. Yeah, yeah. the first two were the shit, dude. I used to always watch Bill and Ted movies back in the day. That was like where, Be- if you look, Beavis and Butthead pretty much are based on Bill and Ted. Right. Because you know? they're both Bill blonde and brunette bro. dumbasses and shit. Right. Cool, though. Shout out to Keanu Reeves, man. Keanu. <laughs> yeah. Keanu. Dude, Keanu Reeves like the most California white dude ever, bro, in those movies, bro. Like, whoa. Keanu. Like, he's like the stereotypical surfer, you know, Hank 10 type right. dude. But he's a cool dude, though, man. The Matrix and all that shit, man. I haven't seen I any of those Hitman movies pass. he did, though, man. I gotta check him out, dog. You know what he's a Hitman? What's that shit called? Uh, Dr. John Wick? She John Wick. I haven't seen any of them, oh, though. Uh, I don't know what's wrong. Star Wars first one. I know, I know I the plot of the back movies back and everything. I just haven't seen. Them. Yeah. Bro, they do not disappoint. Oh yeah, that's what I heard. Man, I got, I got to check them out one day, man. Like, I'm all, sometimes I'm late to the shit. party. That's all, man. I was late to the party. You know what, you know what they mm-hmm. need to do though? DC needs to go ahead and start using him for Constantine. I think they are working on the Constantine two movie, and they mentioned right. they wanted Keanu Reeves back. Um, like I said, I was a fan of the movie. Person. Yeah, Constantine, like I say, then people forget he's part of the DC universe. Yeah, he is. Uh, Vertigo Comics, DC imprint. Um, right. Even though it wasn't like com- super comic accurate, but I still liked it, though. Bro. It, was, it made me get into the character, so you know you got to give it props for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Constantine, yeah, Constantine movie did make me get into it. And they canceled the show, so we might as well get a fucking movie. You know what I mean? The animated shit, too, is hard, bro. Like, you need to check some of that shit out yeah. on DC. I've they seen a little bit of as, uh, John Constantine movies, bro. <laughs> yeah, Speaking DC's, of DC, uh, man. The animation shit is way hard. Yeah, definitely. DC's always had better animation. Unfortunately, though, we did lose a, a heavyweight from the DC, man. Uh, uh, Kevin Conroy, man. The OG man. Batman from that Batman the animated Batman. series, man. The 1993. Series. 92, I think. You know I mean? Yeah, I, I remember making posts on that one, man. I said that was a good series, the animated series. Batman, yeah. the animated series. That was my shit. I think that's the that definitive from Batman for everybody and shit. Right, yeah. Like yeah. that Batman is Batman. You know? Yeah, that was, that was the Batman I grew up with, man. Then the Joker, too, of Mark Hamill. That was just perfect casting, bro. Like, them boys, them boys yeah, did Mark that thing, Hamill, Yeah. That shit was yeah, gangster, man. Penguin, everybody, every character was voice like, right? Yeah. Like, they had they real gangster shit. dudes and shit. Like, pistols on a kid's show and all kind of shit, dude. I was like, wow, right. they got away with a lot, bro. That was a dope show. He was on, I didn't know he had cancer, though, bro. Like, that, that kind of took me by surprise. Yeah. My favorite one was the Clayface episodes. I saw Clayface. Yeah, Clayface. That's a good character. He was in Arkham City. They did. They did. Yeah, they did Clayface right. I think that could work in a movie if they did it like a horror movie with Batman in it. And that could probably work. You know what I mean? You have a motherfucker killing people, but he's like, you know, fucking with his face and making himself look like other people. Like, you don't have to make it exactly like a comic book. You can you know make it a little bit more realistic or whatever. That would be creepy, bro. It's a serial killer like just like disguises. Like a face, yeah, face scarecrow combination. Yeah, scarecrow is dope. I think we need a we need a good accurate uh, Mister Freeze too. You know what I mean? Not the Arnold Schwarzenegger version. Not the not the big Arnold. Mr. Uh, Freeze. Freeze. Noah killed the dinosaurs. <laughs> the Ice Age. <laughs> he had so many stupid quotes on that movie, dog. That movie was so disappointing to me when I watched the dude. Because I was hyped for it. Yeah, that was, yeah it's like I liked it, but that Mr. Freeze was not it. Let's chill out. <laughs> stupid shit. <dog. laughs> corny as fuck. Oh my god, that movie's corny. I hated that shit. I hate that movie. Like, I'd rather watch Batman Forever than watch Batman and Robin. Bro, he's supposed to be a scientist. Why is Arnold Schwarzenegger playing? I, I can't even buy this. He's a bodybuilder. Cracking jokes he's and ice. Sci- yeah, he's supposed to be a scientist grieving over his dead wife. Exactly. Like, That's what he's supposed to be. So then they had yeah. poison ivy in it, which was whack because she uh, that was a whack. That was just whack. Bane, every everything in that yeah, movie was whack. Yeah, they just did everything wrong in that one. I remember thinking, I was like, man, a cartoon is way better than this movie. <laughs> like the fuck, at least yeah, they get it right. Yeah, man, that shit was whack. R.I.P. to uh, Batman. <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, another person though that died was a uh, BC related was this dude named Neil Adams. Man, he's the I think he was the writer or artist for uh, a lot of the seventies. He's the one that brought back Batman to being hard. You know what I mean? Like that detective side of Batman back. You know what I mean? In the seventies because. You know, in the 60s and 50s, they were going through some sci-fi thing because of censorship. Because they censored the comics, so they had to come up with stupid, you know, campy type, uh, you know, content. Oh, and yeah. It was some, it was some le- legislation that led to that, you know what I mean? And it has to do with Tales from the Crypt comics. It had, there's a whole history behind that. I'll get into it one day, but not on this episode. But, uh, yeah, he brought back in the 70s the, the hard Batman. That's where you get Raz al Ghul. That's where you get that shit from, you know what I mean? Like, okay. all those kind of storylines came in the 70s. A lot of people give credit to Frank, or what's his name? Frank, uh, the dude from the 80s who wrote Batman and shit. And Batman, he did those comics, like, year one. A lot of people, you know, credit him for bringing back Batman to the darker shit. But I feel like it's Neil Adams and the other guy that was writing and drawing all those in the 70s, you know what I mean? They're the ones that really brought that old school shit back, man. I'm glad we got away from that era, that 60s. You know what I'm saying? Adam, Adam West shit, man. That shit was horrible, bro. Back in the Yeah, that, oh my God. It was too cartoony. Yeah. Good film, realistic. Then those whack, like I say, a lot of those whack villains. Super whack. They had one called King Tut, Eggman. No. Yeah. <laughs> It's just corny as shit, dude. Like even as a kid, I didn't really like the uh, Adam West show that much, bro. Like they used to show reruns of it, but I was. Yeah, really I, mean, I like how the, like certain certain uh, villains, like the Suicide Squad, they kind of redeem them. They you know they yeah. terrible villains, but they kind of make the James Gunn one was cool. Though. Yeah, and, uh, Suicide yeah. Squad too. Like Polka Dot Man and Weasel, <laughs> yeah. they kind of. And they kind of make them, you know, like pins like a racer head and yeah. shit. It's like that Dick Tracy type comic. King Shark villain. was cool too, though, in that movie. Uh, yeah. Sylvester ne- Stallone. Nemo. <laughs> yeah. The Nemoy. <laughs> that's how King Shark, man. That movie is crazy, bro. That was, that's a crazy movie. Yeah, kind of like, I was like, damn, King Shark is in this one. Like, how the fuck can do that? Because they barely can fix it in the comic book. Yeah. yeah, he's more of a Flash villain. Yeah, Flash villain and shit. He was in the Flash show, in the TV show, a live action. I think that was the first live action, King Short. Yeah, they did. It was kind of, it was kind of out of place, too. Like, damn it, they got King Shark in here. Yeah. He's on the Flash. <laughs> It'll be hard to do. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, but definitely, man. We just wrapping up, man. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's uh, fuck with the uh, Grow Podcast. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's been, we've been getting views and shit on TikTok and on uh, YouTube, man. So shout outs to all y'all who's been checking up on that. Thank you all, man. Y'all, yeah, we, we just not talking in this space, making not white noise. We appreciate white you. Noise. We looking at that. Know, right? Black no, we, <laughs> we we actually looking at the analytics. I saw from yeah. Romania and Germany and all those OC spots. Hey, yeah. we, we, thank you, America. America. Yeah, man. Uh, also, all the people that bought. I mean, like December was honestly my most successful month, and uh, as far as T public sales go, so. Shout out to everybody, man. A lot of people who bought merch from there. You know, you know, I'm about to open up a yeah, new one too. That merch. So I'm about to buy some different. merch too. I'm wearing. I'm only wearing our merch this year. Nice. I think um, I'm doing the same. Mine is this. This is not mine. This is Pac Man by Namco. Namco. But we, by we Namco. Finna, this is Namco. We gonna bring some old logos back. Um, we about, we got some plans, man. Like we about to bring some old school shit back, but we about to make it more, you know, modernize it a little bit, but. Yeah. yeah, we definitely got some ideas, man. Um, Richie Gaddy's albums out, as you know. Uh, you know, what I'm saying uh, the Gaddy Boy effect out right now on all digital platforms. So Gaddy Boy, to check out for that shit. It's banging. You know, me and all the uh, it's King Cole's mixtapes are available online too. There should be uh, on that pip.com. I think you can still get them for that Mississippi Zone. You know, what on mean? that pip still. Um, I do want to dr- put enemies of the state out on that piff just so people can download it. I guess you know what I mean. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, if it's I'm not on there to already, I don't know. I think we got enough songs to do it. Release a LP or EP. Yeah, we can do it. I know for sure. EP is yeah. We can just put the original song re-release to yeah. the masses. <laughs> 
something that we do that shit just for people to check out. Cause I don't think it's av- it's not available on, as uh, what do you call it physical CDs anymore. So I want to just like at least have it in digital form just for people who want to check it out. So we'll do that. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, Cool Mouth couldn't be here for some reason. We were trying to get him in. T- uh, we sent, I sent him an invite. We tried to hit him up. I don't know where he's at. You know, he's cool. Now, some. Cool it's his off day. Where's Cool Mouth? Oh, it's so hey. yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do on your off day. Man, gotta do what a man gotta do. Exactly. So, we'll probably do a second episode on this month, you know what I mean? So, be on the lookout for that shit. Yeah, birthday month, man. January 28th, man. Do Aquarius episode. How old you finna be, dog? Uh, that big 50? Nah, just fucking with you. Oh, I beat it. I beat it. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you, nah. Yeah, you younger than us, uh, actually. Like a little bit younger. Yeah, I'll be finally turning that 39. Ooh. That 39, late 30. y'all. <laughs> Dirty 39. Dirty 30 is almost, almost in. Over the hill. Oh, that 40. Almost to that good old 40. <laughs> lordy, lordy, almost 40. <laughs> hey, but we made it. That's all I got to say. We still yeah, here. And we still here breathing. Still strong. 2023. Hopefully, we'll make it through this uh, third round of 220. Yeah, you know, man, good luck I to see, everybody. That's the success, man. I feel like we're going to make it this year, brother. New year, new growth. <laughs> new growth. That new growth. <laughs> no, I just, I just had to say that. We planted seed. You know, I mean, yeah, we did plant. You, uh, yeah, you helped plant the seed. Uh, you know, I mean, you came up with the concept for it, man. You know what I'm saying? So we rocking with you. You know what I mean? On here, the grow podcast and everything, and so hopefully, I could do a. We could do a bunch of different kind of things this year, but it's looking cool though, man. Yeah, a lot more things to come, man. It's a, a lot of a lot of different things can happen with this. With yeah, this I would I'd definitely like to get into bro. some animation too, man. If we could do some like shorts, short animations and shit. That'd be great. Um, I always wanted to be a voiceover character. Yeah, yeah, we could do something like that. Um, as far as YouTube goes, though, I don't, I don't think we'll ever get monetized on there. So we, we, because we, we talk, we talk too much shit to to get monetized on YouTube. So. We had to start. I think we had to start putting the bleeps and burps in there. Yeah, I've heard a lot of uh, a lot of complaints from YouTube. Yeah, but well, we on there, man. We like we uncensored and shit. You know what I mean, so yeah, on, I don't. Cool. Lie. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I, mean, shit. I, don't, I don't like that shit either, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like we do shit for grown people, not for little kids, you know what I mean? So why, why should we censor that? Yeah. So yeah. fuck that. I don't believe in all the pacifier and sugar coating. Like, yeah. Just because I didn't say it don't mean I didn't mean that. You know what I mean? Just talking shit, man. a different man. way, I meant it that way. Yeah. Just talking shit, Just talking man. shit, man. You ain't got to take everything to heart, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, anyways, though, you should go to uh get some merch from us. See, this, I'm sipping out that you know, dimension cup. You know what I mean? yeah, we still we really still nice rocking with Eric. Shout out to Eric. He just got uh remarried again in uh in Colombia. So congratulations, congratulations brother. brother. With you in Valentina. You know I mean? jumped the broom like the premium out the room. My partner's hollering too soon. Don't do it. Don't do nah, it. Three plan. stacks. <laughs> Yeah, nah, keep man. your heart three stacks. Players got to get married. Nah, too, man, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's a beautiful thing, man. He got to go to my old Campaign stomping grounds, to... Colombia. He was in Colombia, Cali, Colombia. So you know that was cool shit, man. Cali, Colombia, Colombia. I'm ready to go too. <laughs> Not yeah, to be a... no passport, bro. None, just going to enjoy the sights. Man, you should go to the beach Some side. Santa, there's a so place called Santa Marta. Santa Marta. Cartagena. Yeah, you know, know my country like ass ain't been nowhere, so shit, I'm yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's funny because uh, in my neck of the woods, though, my hometown, it feels more like Biloxi <laughs> than as far as the weather goes and shit. It was like, okay. it's like humid ass B-town, kind of weather. B-town. And it has similar looking vegetation growth. Like it's, you know, it's very similar. It even has like mossy looking shit and a lot of mossy trees and shit. Just so because of the weather, man. The weather is very similar. Yeah, I mean, right at home. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right, people. We out this bitch. We've been here for over an hour, I think. So you already. Know.
I just already, man. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I think we started uh, around uh, seven ish. It's like eight. Maybe it's 45 minutes. I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't really keep up with it. I had to double check the time. I forgot you two hours ahead, uh, two hours behind me. I'm like, okay. Whoa. That's why I, I hate West Coast time because we're late on everything because we're on Pacific. So we're the last ones to get the news. We're the last ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, last yeah, how does that work? Like, man, do y'all see everything? Man? Yeah, I think we do, bro. Like, even the weather, even that cold weather. No wonder it's just those not Lakers and those Warrior games come on late over here. It's too damn late. Nine o'clock. And, and I don't want to stay up. It's almost two hours watching y'all play. Damn it, I'm, Lakers do something about that. Your team is horrible. Yeah, man, a lot James. of people been complaining about the Lakers, man. They that. had a bad season. Oh, my God. Oh, horrible. Yeah, I know. My homies are uh, the last the drop on the <laughs> Yeah, man, it's bad. Shout out to JB. Bad. Oh, man. Lost Hope you didn't place any bets. Betting on you guys. Yeah, I lost a lot of money betting on you chumps. <laughs> yeah, hopefully they get this shit together, yeah. on, bro. Shout out to LeBron and the LeBron. new house party movie. Uh, oh, that's I, what I he's, he's doing it. those? Peter. Yeah, he's doing that. I didn't know that. I knew they were making new house party movies, but I didn't yeah. know he was behind that. Damn, that's why the originals was so dope, man. Yeah. Kid and play. Mm-hmm. Like those dudes are funny. Yeah, like, had that yeah, long ass, that to big ass flat top. I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing to do it. I had a kid flat top, man. I was probably five foot in third grade. Wow, I had flat top was so high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had. A, I probably had a three foot flat top. Yeah, that's good. No, that's good. I remember them shits though, man. That shit was that's high some 80s. Shit. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was perfectly symmetrical to it. It was high. <laughs> we'll say perfectly I was symmetrical. Proud of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit. And that shit was straight. Yeah. Like somebody put a ruler on that shit. Cut that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I switched it to the Minnesota Society. Came out, we switched it to the old bra braids. Yeah. I said, fuck this. I'm doing the, I'm doing the gang bang stuff. Oh, you now. had the, you had the Omar <laughs> joints with the, like, mystical hat and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah, I had a Mr. Cool Bangs. <laughs> Partners <laughs> hair and shit. Because, you know, I already had the flat top. Of the yeah, you might as well braid that shit up. He just uh, got braided down and boom. I got the old dog, Minister Society. <laughs> no more uh, dancing at the house party. We're going to go put my flannel shirt on and gang bang. Put my <laughs> dickies on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that early 90s culture, man. Well, that's just wild, bro. What you say about my mama? <laughs> don't be a menace. I feel sorry for your mother. Yeah, yeah, don't. don't feel sorry for your mother. That's all he said. <laughs> These old dogs shot him, man. At the day. Pop. Then they kept Mom the and tape. pop store. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, dang, I love. Matter of fact, when she kicked it with pops earlier today, oh, damn. I thought pops is still at the store. Still active? Like, bro, pops is still there. Bro, he's still at the registry. He will not go home. Wow, that's a true worker right there. I mean, bro, bro, he's been here bro, since my childhood. Man. Hey, but he survived <laughs> the pandemic like, too, bro. Shit, that's that everything. That business, like, bro. Pop, you still like, bro, you still here? Like, Pop, what are you doing? Bro, that video you you posted with Jay White was drunk as fuck at a pop store. Oh, yeah. Dog, you got to see that shit. That's hilarious. Hey, bro, I, I got to find I think I got I, I got to find that shit. Jay White was on twisted that. on that shit. He was so drunk, dude. I was like, damn, dog. Yeah, we usually load it when we go to Pops because we, <laughs> you know I say, it's beer yeah. run time or cigar time. Remember that racist like liquor store dude like by uh, Jenny Jungle? What's his name? Mm-hmm. Oh man, he's still there. Dude. Wow, uh, Terry's yeah, or some shit. Was, Terry is still there. Yeah, Terry's liquor store, man. I used to buy liquor stores. I mean, liquor from that shit. Terry's man. package is still Terry's there. Package. I used to ask him when I first started going. I was like, "Do you have any uh, recommendations?" Like, I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, never yeah, mind. He really don't drink, though. Yeah, it's crazy drink. as fuck. He really don't drink. He's just he selling really poison. He got the liquor store. He just, you know. They like to drink. I like to sell. Strap and one-on-one. 
<laughs> That's trapping one on one. Don't get See, high off your own supply. True that. True that. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But I can't believe that fool still hey, yeah, there. Yeah, bro. bro. I did that before too. Like, bro, what should I get, Terry? He was like, I don't drink. I'm like, oh shit, Terry. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink. Yeah. You know, just trying to make. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least gonna be a dry ass conversation. You're not gonna get much out of. It. Yeah, he ain't trying to conversate. He's not trying to talk much. I know the fifty percent off right there. <laughs> yeah, shouts out to Terry though, but he's still there. I like the Holy what was God. the one on Howard Avenue that liquor store we used to go to, like by uh, it was by Keller Ave. Oh, he's still there. Oh, okay, yeah, it's that one was cool. There. I like going there. They would post people's uh, pictures uh, and shit on there. Remember that shit? The, the, the Asian lady still there at the counter. Yeah, that's what's up, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's it, they sold the they sold the store door. They sold the store. Oh, the store they sold the store. A-Rap got it now. A Yeah, the damn. store is gone. But well, the I didn't know we had a rap. Uh, bless you, damn. That's Bro, wild. they bought all the stores. Do y'all have Seven Elevens like right now or now? Nah? No Seven Elevens yet. Hey, no did you see that video I sent you with the fucking bear? <laughs> That bear yeah, went into fucking the 7-Eleven. Like, the fuck? I'm talking about, but it was funny because he like, he looks like he's looking for people and then he opens the door like a human. Walks Bruh, up in that bitch and steals some kind of candy or something. I don't know what's the best, with pastry or something. And then casually walked out. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's that was, one thing about bears. Like, bro, bears are too smart. Uh, that was, like, it was weird, man. Cause it was, I mean, it's funny, it but it's shit. weird at the same time. Cause he just walked up in that bitch, like he looked for police and shit. Yeah, yeah, stole that shit. Around, left to, he looked left to right. And well, like, I'm okay, tripping off the who, who the fuck filmed that shit? Cause it was obviously on the phone, and they were trying not to move. So I don't know if it was security right, or the clerk. I don't, I don't know the story the behind it. Behind her. It probably was just a clerk. Like, what the fuck? I would have ran to the bathroom. <laughs> I would have been scared. Uh, yeah, I would have been behind the counter. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker get charged in second. I would have, I would have been like, I would have called the animal control people. Like, hey man, there's a bear in the store right there's now in Seven Eleven. An actual Not only is a bear, grizzly it's a goddamn bear. grizzly bear, goddamn. This is a big brown yeah. bear. Yo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like this is not the no this is not a little black bear. This is the big brown one. It's, it's just the bear necessities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bal- in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm, get me the fuck up out of here. Hey yo, uh, hey, and he's walking around this motherfucker. He literally did get the bear necessity. He got what he came in for. And hauled right ass out of there. No, that shit was funny as fuck. Yeah. And it like they just feeling like this gotta be time like a motherfucker. Like, yeah, it's like he must always do that shit. He like been here three or four times before they just start filming. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna wait till they go on break around three a.m. They ain't gonna notice me. <laughs> go up and they leave the door. They leave the door open for me. <laughs> Talk I'm about some you. Yogi Bear shit. Hey, yo, I was wondering hey, where Boo Boo's at. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. We're about to go get some Kit Kats. Nah, that should have been hilarious. The little ass, little ass bear walking in. The fucking in Red Bull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some Kit Kats and a Red Bull and shit. <laughs> and a cigar. <laughs> give me, give me some royal wraps. Go get me some Swisher shit out there. Give what the youngster smoke. Give, give me some backwoods, nigga, get honey. Some, get some honey grape Swisher. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, one thing I'm glad about Cali, they banned the flavor cigars. Like, bro, yeah. why do y'all sell flavor cigars when weed has got so much better? I know, right? Yeah, that's just crazy. Like, like, people still be wanting it. Is, uh, I like what? that. It's, it's like, you must got some Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got that dad's grass shit. You don't talk about that. Huh? <laughs> that yeah, that got shit only got CBD. <laughs> yeah, got the Delta 10. <laughs> You got that stress shit. <laughs> yeah, that's just sad, CBD. That's, I'd be like, that's sad, bro. I was like, man, just, just smoke some regular weed. Dog. Like, you wasting your money and shit. Dog. Oh, yeah, you might work it. Yeah, but this shit don't got no THC, bro. <laughs> like, I like the CBD. It relaxes me. Some... This yeah, shit, there's some smoke. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. But shit, all right, people. We it's been uh, that was funny. So I'm at the I'm at to make a clip out of that bear shit. Though. It's just hilarious. Oh, I, yeah, I was trying man, to save the video, so but I guess the dude who posted is not letting people save it. I guess it's all I can yeah, do. Yeah, I hate when it. they do that shit. I'm like, yeah. goddamn, dude. It's like you can't take my viral video. 
You can't share it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it be to you. Can't take my viral area. What's the fucking point, man? What happened to brand creator crop? Yeah, creator and it's not like he's not gonna get credit on it because the name pops up on the fucking video anyway. Right, like so. I said, yeah, the name is all through the video. End the the end video. Of the, that's why I try to, <laughs> I try to keep the end of the video and all this shit. Yeah, man, me bitch. too, man. Yeah, like you said, man, creator promoting other creators, man. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Cross platform, cross platform promotion. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what space with up. Yeah, yeah. All right, G man. Like uh I'll probably hit y'all up next week, man. We do that uh the second episode and shit. I'm sure yeah, uh, Sharon got some shit to talk about. Cool man got some shit to talk about, you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe we can have a guest on it as well, who knows? You know what I mean? So uh yeah, shit, we yeah. definitely I know Richard Gotti wants to uh wants to be recurring guests and I, uh, I see yeah. no objections. Yeah, he, he wants to get into it. He, he should so, get a. He should get the app got, on his phone. They got some shit planned too, bro. Uh, yeah, up? he got it on the uh, computer. Okay. They got some shit planned. I'm like, like, I'm probably gonna let him tell you what they got going on. But yeah. it's okay. okay. Some good shit going down. Yeah, hopefully you know Skinny D could also uh, join in on the fun. And I'd like, to, I'd like to ask Skinny D because Skinny D be dropping knowledge and shit yeah. when it comes to the music shit. Like he's very knowledgeable on, on you know the gear and all that kind of shit too. So yeah, uh, cool to uh, uh, we uh, we had a little conversation about it. He was he was ready. Uh, okay. know, I mean I know he's, he's busy. You know what I mean? But, yeah, he just yeah. stayed busy working. <laughs> but, you know, when, when he gets some time, hopefully we can do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. But I didn't be dope. <laughs> Oh, All right, yeah. people, you already know where you tuned in, the Grow Podcast, Podbean, YouTube, we're on TikTok, we're everywhere, Instagram, all that bullshit, Twitter, you already know, all that good our handles, you know what I'm saying, we got links, just check our YouTube uh, channel out, all the links are there, you know what I mean, so, all right, people, y'all have a good one, uh, happy new years, you know what I mean, hope we'll bring, bring in the, hopefully this new 2023 is going to be good man. for y'all, you know, we'll have less deaths, hopefully, you know what I mean, so, yeah, yeah, where that gator at, man? And he put that gate on. Bro. Where he at? I don't know. I'm about to put him on there, though, man. Got he got we got to cl- close yeah, out yeah, with the they gator. Got burn somewhere. <laughs> I ain't yeah, they, you know they be looking for that gator, man. <laughs> yeah, that gator. I'm about to make the official mascot gator. I'm about to make another T design, man. It's gonna be like him chilling or something, bro. You know what I mean? The, oh, yeah. the gator fucking yeah, with the gator. I'm buying a lot of merch. More merch, merch, man. I'm wearing nothing but our stuff this year. Merch, merch, merch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, yeah. Shit, I haven't the slightest. I was told for the sip to get on, they'd have to unite us in mass quantities. Guess it's less of a chance that they deny us. But most of y'all is average, and I'm music at its finest. I bring the ruckus, the chaos, and the motherfucking riots. For you niggas eating good now, I put you on a diet.